This is my condo land workshop. It's horrible. So we got a roll cap out. We got a new cap in. And I scratched the board, but I think it's fine. You see a little scratch over there? I don't think I went through it. I just scratched the, uh, the outer edge right there. You can see it, but we got a new thing in. Uh, the negative on the board is marked. It's a shaded area. Pretty easy. Let's go solder it in. And we got to do the baby one. It's going to be more challenging using a horrible soldering iron. So my last video, like, uh, I don't know, a couple days ago, I made that and I posted it to yesterday or something or today. I had the battery fault. See, that was a spare battery pack from the Smash GPS that I had to use to fix it. Actually, a free Smash GPS that I blew because I unplugged it when I was doing the firmware. If I didn't unplug it, wouldn't have a problem. And I think the firmware actually caught, but I wasn't paying attention when I was doing it. And I loaded the firmware again, and in my era... I totally broke the thing. I wasted $74 on the parts unit because I'm an idiot. And I still feel like just because I got the unit for free, just trying to send out that board. Maybe they can fix it for 200 bucks or something because the UPS was free anyway. I'm still, you know, I learned from my mistake being a fucking moron. But anyway, uh, those are the old caps we took off. You see the foil on the other, or the other shield is falling off on the other one. I tested these. They show nothing. For the UF microfarads, whatever the ferrets, farads, whatever the hell the rating is, the UF, the bulge one. It shows nothing at all on the meter. So they definitely were shot. Uh, I use these Panasonic ones. I got kind of ripped off on Amazon. And maybe about like, literally probably about like a dollar a piece. On Mauser they're like uh, 80 a piece, 80 cents a piece. But they're out of stock. There's actually a, um, a shortage of capacitors. Still. Anyway, the unit in the back is the one I had apart. I probably could have welded them on or soldered them. I like to call welding uh, better. You gotta use this crappy welder soldering iron. This was a new tip. I don't know why I wrecked the tips for. Anyone has a good idea how to t retend those? I never. I'm good at it. Is working. Is charging. 97% battery right now. It's floating. It does the slow charge. Uh, no errors in the battery test. I routed my wires wrong in the front, so the cover kind of sticks out. I'm gonna have to take it apart again and swap my black and my red lead. I got it twisted, so I'll fix that. But I'll do that in like on um, about a week. We're gonna run it for a week in case I have any other errors. Usually three to five days with throwing a code randomly. And it was coming out of the ABM state. It has them when you're charging the heat and things. Yeah, these are like 600 bucks now. I was getting these around like 200 to 250 from some guy in um, upstate New York. And I actually think he was in Canada, Niagara Falls. He was shipping them in Niagara Falls, New York. And I believe they were lost freight or like damage freight. You know, that kind of deal. Like lost meaning damaged. Like, you know, like a, a trailer flips over, a boat sinks, whatever. So they just ride off the load and someone bust the pallet. Because all the boxes that he was sending them were all freaking screwed up. They looked like they had hatchet marks in them and stuff. And they were like new old stock. Like they've been sitting around. Sometimes um, that stuff, it takes a couple of years to be auctioned off in the warehouse or whatever. And that could have been the deal with that. But yeah, they had a lot of them. And I probably should have bought more of them. I bought uh, I bought three. One came smashed. He, he, uh, he just wrote that one off. Sent me another one, so I only paid for three. One was free with smashed. I glued it all back together, ABS cement. And that's the one I broke with a bad firmware upgrade, so that sucks. So I bought a parts unit, came with batteries, a bunch of stuff. But yeah, I did. It seems to be working. Uh, one of them was very, very hard to get out, the smaller one. I need a soldering station and other stuff. But yeah, so far, so good. And I don't know, we'll see what happens.